good evening to all of you in this particular presentation i am going to describe the performance of our weekly nifty and bank nifty trend analysis which we have released on saturday so you can see those videos in my youtube channel here we have given so two days back saturday we have just released these two videos so there i have told you the levels for the nifty and bank nifty particularly in this particular presentation you are going to experience how it has performed in the day one so in the day one today how these levels have performed in the day one that we are going to experience today as i told you days open days high days low and closing basis we need to verify how far this days open high low close deviated from our calculations so that is what i have told you in the video so in this particular video i am also going to ex explain you about the gans trend reversal date analysis so which are the days we have the trend reversal in the nifty and bank nifty that you are going to learn i'll also discuss about the vix where the vix is standing on saturday's video i have explained to you what are the vix parameter how we can study so today where it is standing that also we will be seeing today. so i'll request all of you view this particular video till the end share with your friends and if you like give a like in this particular video so i'll start my first calculations from the nifty levels so this is what we have calculated on saturday so i have told you that if nifty opens above 111174 level then it is a uptrend so 11036 below it is a downtrend and these are the levels so this is what we have discussed and also i have told you the 10923 to 10874 this is the level we should have a strong support for the nifty and it was a weekly level so this is what we have discussed on that day so let me see what happened today so today this is what the nifty has opened up it has opened at 11029 it made a low of 10883 close at 10917 so this is what open high low and close open is 10993 11029 was the high 883 was low so just let us compare these things with our calculations that will be a more clear approach to understand this particular method so here you can say that our calculations was sitting at 11000 i can just go to our historic analysis also so here check previous analysis this is what we have calculated on this is what we have calculated so we can check it so previous analysis if i just go and here if i just give first august we have from first august to the day till date so if i can just sort this data i can get that nifty and bank nifty so what are the things we have done here nifty and bank nifty so this view this analysis so this is what we have calculated and you have seen day what today what happened 10883 was the low of the day and this is the level i told that it will have a bounce back and you have just closed at 10000 10917 so this is the level you have closed so this is the level so once again i will be taking you to the nifty nsi site to show you where we have closed today 917 11029 883 994 so this is what 994 10994 it has opened so this is the play place it has opened 10994 993 was our point 38 to 11 very close to that it has opened 
it has gone till 11029 this to also very close to this price points and it has come down to 10883 so just 10 point above 10 point above our our 0.786 target so it has altered there and it has closed at 10,917. So this is the zone it has closed. 0.6 to 0.786. In between that only it has closed. So this is what happened for Nifty. So what happened for the bank Nifty? That is all we have that day we have discussed. So this is for the bank Nifty we have analyzed. So this is what we have analyzed for the bank Nifty. 21,786. So here bank nifty analysis also you can find out in the same video so i'm just trailing that video so that you can able to know what are the things we have calculated on that day so this is what we have calculated so so same levels whatever you are getting here same levels also it is being filtered out here so i can i can just go to the bank nifty level so here nifty you have seen i'm just going to the bank nifty level and Making these things again same process 21,480 opening so 21,480 was the open it has made a low 21,085.35 so this is the low and open was 21,480 and high also 21,549. 0.7 so you can say that it is 21550 it has opened so so this is the high and opening was 21480 so this is open and we have closed at 21187 so have a look on these levels have a look on these levels and compare it with our calculations so so here so here you can see that 21000 85 so 21085 you have just come two points below your 0 0.618 0 0.618 target and from there the bounce happened 21480 very close to here 10 20 points of deviations it has opened so 21085 was the low 549 it is not of our level this high has not mapping with any of our level so 21,187, so very close near to below this 0.5 and above this 0.618, we have closed. But we have a very close resemblance in this low, day slow basis. We have, we have successfully achieved the first target in this particular counter. So this is the day one. So we have till 3rd to 7th. So every day will be experiencing the open high low close and we'll just see how far these calculations are true on different different dates so that that is the point i was trying to make it here so this is the performance you have got so coming to the india weeks so today the vix also closed at 25.18 as i told to you 25.18 so this also set just just it has closed above your above or exactly at geometric mean and it is above the median point so you can say that you have you have entered to a bearish trend now and past 10 days data point also if you take the median value it is 34.53 so you have closed above that so we have a we have a downtrend situation now so till this median it maintain above the median so we will be in the downtrend trajectory so this is what the VIX parameter saying as of today so coming to our GAN analysis WD GANs analysis here WD GANs analysis I will be taking the trend reversal day so Nifty so I am going for index future I'll be choosing the Nifty. So previous month. So here load data. So this particular month of August, which are the days we will be having the trend change. So that we'll be experiencing from this software. So this particular software says that we have 
9th, 24th and 25th are the trend change dates and one more software says that 13th and 19th. So 13th and 19th, two working days, no problem. So here 9th is a Sunday. So we may experience the trend change on 7th or on 10th. So whenever it falls on the weekends, you need to experience it in the previous working day or next working day. So now coming to the bank nifty. So this is for the nifty trend change dates. So coming to the bank nifty. So bank nifty trend change dates as per the GANS method. We'll be seeing that here. So Sunday 2nd was the Sunday. So Friday was the trend change date would have impacted or on 3rd. So today trend change date has impacted perfectly. You have seen it. Another day is falling on 8th. So 7th or 10th we can get again one more day also comes on the weekend. So 23rd so we can get 21st or 24th or so same way 29th also is a trend change date. So 28th or 31st we can get the trend change. 7th and 13th are their trend change dates as for the high angle method. So here too also 30th is a trend change date. So little bit of little bit of both the methods having some overlapping like seventh also we are expecting here based on this seventh also coming here so 30th 29th and 30th are both trend change date falling so subsequent two days it is falling and both the days are holidays so you can get on 28th and 30th so i can say that bank nifty is this month little complex majority of the days are falling on the holidays our nifty trend change dates are clear. So this trend change dates, how you should work on this trend change date? Say seventh is a trend change date. On sixth, on sixth, if bank nifty is negative, so you are expecting seventh should be the positive opening or positive closing. So sixth, if it is negative, you must buy bank nifty along with some put options and Hold it for the trend change to impact on Friday and you should book the profit. So you have to take a call on 6th itself. 7th is the trend change date. 6th itself you have to initiate the action. So same process you need to follow. If there is a positive closing on 6th, then you may expect the 7th will be a negative opening or negative closing. So based on that, you need to formulate your actions on 6th of August. So this is what the trend change date for the nifty and bank nifty experience this and from there you will come to know the trend change date. So I'm just going to announce certain things here. So we have come with our independence day offer wherein you will get all our books, softwares and this time all products will be given you in the digital format. So softwares, books will be given you in the e-format, courses will be giving you in the downloaded format. So here no physical materials will be there and we have we are giving a great discount here 16,040 including tax you can get all our softwares and all our courses and this is valid till 15th of August and if you are interested click here and just go to this page and here so you will get including tax 16,040 so this is the offer till 15th August we have and many reasons are there to opt for a good software or a course. The reason is one standard deviation, these levels, what you have seen today, this is being given on Saturday. Saturday, these calculations are being given, and this is not being given for the first time. So, this particular things you can find out a record of near to one year period, we have been giving these things. Only because of this lockdowns and other things we have just discontinued or paused for a couple of months. So here these calculations are done based on a parameter of real-time volatility. And today it has been proved in the bank nifty. Bank nifty has exactly precisely from 21,085, it has shown you the reversal. You have seen that nifty has given you the reversal from 10,883 it is the first day's experience so have a look on the second day third day what are the experience you are getting 
so i have already told you this levels are weekly levels valid from 3rd to 7th august so all the three all today third is over four fifth six seven four more days you should experience it fast and if you think yes these calculations are accepted by the market market is accepting this calculation so this software can give me a trade success so so when we talk about the forecasting forecasting means the what are the calculations levels we should find out market must accept it simply we found out that doesn't mean that it is the true forecasting true forecasting is a forecasting you forecast specific prices you estimate specific prices and market obliges it accepts it so today you have seen the acceptance of market for this this nifty and bank nifty levels experience for another four more days then you conclude whether it will help you in trading or not and this software is not a great cost we have put for this this particular software for one standard deviation cost you 6500 hardly 500 rupees you are spending for your trade decision process software so this much if you cannot able to spend for your trades then i think that it is not a wise business you are into a serious business and each loss counts each profit counts and if you do not have a decision making tool it is just like one driver driving a vehicle without having any experience in driving or without having a valid driving license in his hand so think on this aspects if you are convinced with this levels procure this software and this will help you a lot thank you very much thank you for your